Hello everyone. So in this video, we will see how you can execute SQL scripts in the startup of your Spring Boot application. So I have a really empty uh, Spring Boot application. I have only uh, the JDBC uh, dependency. It works also, also with Spring uh, Data the dependency, and I have. Uh, the H2 embedded database uh, at the moment and our my application property has nothing and I have a schema SQL where I create my table and the data SQL where I insert some value so for H2 database I don't need anything in the application properties and if I run my program There you are, you can see that our scripts are executed. So schema first and then the data. Let's create, let's do the same now with MySQL. So let's uncomment our MySQL connector dependency. And let's give some properties so the URL, the username and the password of my MySQL, MySQL database connection and this property is mandatory for external, external databases it was not mandatory for embedded databases but you have to specify it for MySQL or PGSQL because in fact the default is is this value here is embedded this is the default value of this property so that's why for external databases you have to give it always so let's run our program now so it's a, it is executed again so schema is executed once so execute. and the data is also executed once and if I see my uh, my tables so I have my product table and if I query then I have my data all right, now let's suppose that you have two databases. Let's say you configured your Spring Boot application to, to connect to two databases. And by the way, uh, if, you know, if you want to know how to do this, you can see my previous video about connecting two databases. And you want this schema SQL and data SQL to be executed only for one database and not another one. Then it is possible by specifying the platform here. Let's call it my local MySQL. And then what you have to do is rename your uh, uh, script files. You call them data hyphen and the name of your platform. Here, my local. MySQL. Same for schema. So let's run our program again. So our scripts are executed. 
So in case you had another database like a PostgreSQL database or another MySQL database defined, uh, you can be sure that these scripts will not be executed for the other database, but only for this one defined with these properties. And another thing I would like to mention, you have also the possibility to have a data SQL and a schema SQL. And these will be executed as well, and they will be executed for all your databases. So this is practical if you have some common data or common schema you want to execute for all the databases, and for every specific database you can you can define these scripts. And the second thing you have to know is that these scripts, the specific scripts, will be executed first before the general scripts. So let's try it. So let's. Uh, add some values here. And the data has this. So this is our schema. And this is the values we injected. So let's run our program. So we create our schema for our specific database, and then this one is executed for MySQL and the specific data SQL and the general data SQL. And of course, as I said, if you have a second database defined, if we redefine, for example, our H2 database in our application properties, then we will see this schema.sql and data.sql executed another time for this H2 embedded database. I hope it helps. Thank you for your time. Ciao.